made this and gave it to my grandmother. I made it when I was in seventh grade, which had been 1969. And um, not, a, a scissors never touched it. And when she started talking about aprons, I said, oh, I said, I have my grandmother's apron. And it just, it went from there. My name is Jennifer Nolte, and I live in Spring Garden Township. And I have become part of the apron exhibit. I have my apron here. A dear friend of mine is a coordinator of events at the library, and she was chatting with me one day and described this exhibit that was going to include aprons. And without thinking, I said, oh, I have my grandmother's apron. And I started to talk to her about it, and the next thing I knew, I was part of the whole, the whole process. This apron um, is special to me because I made it in 1969 in my home economics class. It was called that back then. It was made of gingham. You had to use gingham, and the entire thing was done without any scissors. We ripped all the sizes and shapes, sewed it. I learned about finger pressing. And my mom didn't wear aprons, and so when it was time to decide what to do with it, I gave it to my grandmother, and she used it every time she cooked. And later on, when she lost her eyesight, um, it became her lap napkin. And when she died um, in the 1980s, and we went through the house, I found the apron it's hanging in the kitchen where it always been and took it and when I got home I realized that it still smelled like her kitchen and it just reminded me of her and for a year the apron had that smell to it and I would just whenever I was feeling sad and missing her I would bury my face in this silly old thing and I could smell my grandmother's kitchen and think of my grandmother and eventually that smell faded but the memories were still there and um, that's why my apron is part of this event. One of the th I've, I've had occasion to become involved in several library projects in the last year and a half, and I'm very excited about the different things that they are doing that bring people from all different walks of life and interests um, into the library. It's a beautiful facility since their renovations have been done, and the, the mystery events and the kites, and there's just always something unusual to see. And, who would have thought that you could have a wonderful program centered around aprons? So I'm glad to be part of this.